Okay, guys, Thursday evening, hello, a huge big welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your evening to join us. Um, I will not be waffling on for too long because we've got three great people on the line this evening, and I can't wait to hear their stories. I love Thursday evenings because this is what this is all about. So with that in mind, um, just to tell you who I am. My name is Lee Dix, and literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce these great people, and if it's okay with you, just at the end, maybe for those stats people, I'll give you a couple of little bit of stats, a couple of stats that you can go away with and understand why this is the fastest growing movement in the world, and that is just bar none. So what are we going to talk about this evening? You are going to hear about the world's first premium grade wearable nutrition by a business called Lavelle and the product is aptly named Thrive and there is a real reason and you will hear from these three people why they are all thriving. So in my mind this is the Nike, this is the Apple of, of, of the nutritional world. We are world leaders, we are uh, technologically advanced and this simple three, the three step system working sequentially together really does make the difference. So three people from three different locations, three different ages, all coming up with the same end results in their own time. So without any further ado, a big huge thank you for, uh, for everyone for getting on. I know we've got Australia, New Zealand, and definitely the UK. So why don't we just start there? The UK, Melissa Norris, how are you, my friend? Hey Lee, hello girl, good evening. <laughs> girl, I've got to say, it's 9am in the morning, or just after 9am in the morning here in the UK. Oh my God, what a journey this has been, hey Lee. So what I'd love to do is just start how I started thriving. So I've been thriving since the 12th of January, 2016. It hadn't long hit Australia when a good friend of mine, Leanne, I actually came over to my house with a lot of excitement with her husband, Matt, to share what this product was and how it had come to Australia and what it could do for you. And basically, I had never, ever heard about, other than cod liver oil, I had no knowledge around nutrition whatsoever. But it was her passion of her thriving for those two or three weeks just beforehand and what she had felt and how her husband was feeling that it really pricked our ears up. So we invited them over for a barbecue on that Sunday just before the 12th. And she sat down at the table and explained how she felt. And it just really resonated with me. And what resonated was the gut health nutrition. So met for many, many years, I've had a lot of gut health problems from about the age of 15. And it really affected me with my sleep, my energy levels, my mood swings. And the same with my husband. So my husband was heavily into rugby, still is in heavily into rugby and exercise as well. And it's what she explained about what this product could do for you. And to take the truth, I was a little bit, mm, really, can it do all that for you? Because it really helped her with her anxiety and her moods as well and how she felt. So basically, that was on the Sunday. On the Monday, I created a customer account. I said, look, she left some fried with us, a couple of samples for me and for Keith. And I said to Keith, like, we're going to give it a go. So on the Tuesday was the first day. We created a count on the Monday. On the Tuesday, we both started our first five experience, our first day on five. And I can never forget when my husband ran me from work and said, what is in this? Is it speed? Like, oh, my God, I feel amazing. I've got so much energy. I haven't touched a tea or coffee all morning. I feel really good in myself. And it was just like, oh, my God, so do I. Like, I don't know what it is. I just feel really, really well. I, I haven't woke up with pains in my belly, like you know, how I usually feel the cramps and things like that. I just, I just felt good. And for me, it was literally those first couple of days, I had a, like a little bit of a dull headache at first. So that was my body really detoxing and chucking out the rubbish. But literally, with by day three, it was knowing that we weren't going in the fridge as much to reach for the sweeties, or you call them lollies out in Australia. Like we used to buy thirty to forty dollars worth of sweeties a week, and they used to be in the freezer tree, obviously because your sweets melt pretty quickly out there, so everything lived in our freezer. But we wasn't reaching for them. We wasn't reaching for tea or coffee. We wasn't reaching for Coke and um, Lil and things like that, the fizzy drinks. So that was where I started to think, oh my god, this product probably actually does work. 
And it was from there that we started to think, oh, my God, who else can we share this with? And I spoke to a good friend of mine, Linda, who actually worked for a, a pharmaceutical company out in Australia. She was head of um, the, the nutritional side for Australia and New, Ze- uh, New Zealand. And I took it to her and I said, look, I want to know a little bit more about this and what this pattern, the patent was pending at the time for the fried patch as well. And she came back to me literally 24 hours later and just said to me, Melissa, what do you know about nutrition? And I was like, I, am, I don't know, Bo Diddley, I haven't got a clue. And like I said, I've only ever used cod liver oil as a kid on, what's it called, vitamin C gum medication my mum used to give me. And that was it. And it was just learning a lot more about it and realising what a gut health product can do for you and how it can change so much in you. So it was the energy that we had, the sleeping pattern, that was a big thing for me because I used to get up in the middle of the night and I'd be up on the toilet on and off all night, not every single day, but most days. And it was just knowing that my body started to settle down. And it was from the weekend that I started to shout out and I spoke to Danny and Leonania and it was just went from there and just, do you know what? So three years later now, look at it, okay, I've been a bit of a yo-yo, so I started my science experience back in that January 2016, in June 2016, decided to go to the UK and run with it here and realising, not loving our lifestyle as much as we love it in Australia, looking to head back as of tonight or this week, we're looking to sell our house and come back. So that site has provided so much for us in our health. And our finances, it's changed our life, it really has. So we've had beautiful cars from it, we've had three beautiful cars with Lavelle on the court, the list could go on. But what it's done for us in our health is first and foremost, it's been amazing. So what I'd love to do is pass it back to you, Lee. Thank you for having me on, and I'm looking forward to sharing the five experience with you all so much in Australia real soon. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mel. So good having you back on. Great to hear your voice, even though you have gone a little bit more <laughs> cockney since you've been over there. And I'm just going to leave I you know. with a quote that I had, that I had from, the, uh, from the other week, and it said, if you're going to put your name to a company, make sure your product is a better salesperson than you are. This product absolutely works, and you've just heard that. So thank you so much, Mel. I know you need to jump off. Appreciate your time. Take care. Bye, guys. Okay, so from London, England, oh, back over the big pond, over back over to Australia, and down to Sydney, to Thomas, are you there, my friend? I'm here, Lee. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm feeling amazing. Wasn't it great just to hear? They just love the wonders of modern technology, being able to speak to the UK and then just quickly, as in, you know, just flip back over to Sydney and start to, and start to have a conversation with you. So, so listen, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you are, and tell us about your Thrive story so far, my friend. Yeah, absolutely. So um, I'm, I'm Tom. I'm from uh, Sydney, originally born in Poland. Came to Australia 17, 18 years ago almost. And uh, four months ago, my partner RJ introduced uh, Thrive to Olivelle and Thrive to our household. And, you know, working nine to five, J-O-B, makes you tired, Monday to Friday. And then one Saturday, um, he said to me, listen, Lavelle has arrived. You need to try it. I'm like, yeah, all right. Another set of vitamins that never works. Ten minutes later, you know, you take it, you feel energy, and that's about it. So I decided to pop the pill, then later have a shake, then had a shower, slapped on my speaker, matched it obviously with the color of my clothing that day to make it look even more fabulous, and then boom, it was a some sort of jumbo jet bombastic experience when it comes to energy burst. And I thought, well, that's going to last for, you know, a good 15 minutes, and then I'm going to be dying on a caffeine for the rest of the day. But no, I have not stopped the entire day and days and months after that. You just keep going and going and going, and every day feels like you fast-forwarding the entire movie because you're just bouncing off the walls pretty much. You've got energy for everything. The focus is absolutely amazing on whatever you're doing. And at the end of the day, you don't feel tired, but you go to bed and you fall asleep like a baby and you've got the best quality sleep ever. You wake up in the morning, refreshed, re-energized, ready to thrive another day. So would I go back ever to any of the multivitamins I've ever taken in my life? Hell to the no. A big one. Never again. Um, 
driver's so easy, so, so, so good for you. And in the same time, it creates so much curiosity um, at work. Everyone is like, oh, are you quitting smoking? I didn't know you smoked. What is the sticker about? And so the story goes. And the conversation continues every single day um, across all, all, the, all the people that, that I meet at work. And you know what? People are willing to try it, and they're all having they, they all seem to be having the same experience. So does it work? Absolutely, yes. Would I recommend it with a hand on my heart to anyone? Absolutely, yes. And I really, really encourage anyone to at least give it a shot for a couple of days and see for yourself and experience the really, really amazing world of Thrive. That's super. Thank you so much. Absolutely love your energy. And, and the story is just wrote so simple and seems to replicate across the, across everybody who starts to look at this product and find out about it. It's just another one of those things, you know, oh, this will never work for me. And most people, I don't know about you. Let me ask you a question. Were you, would you say that you were a, a total skeptic? Uh, yes, I was very skeptical because I was thinking how a sticker can give you energy. <laughs> and subsequently, you've obviously found out that it, it's actually the three steps and then working sequentially together that really do get, like you use the word, did you say the word boombastic? Yes, yes. I haven't heard that for a long that's time. That's the energy boost you get. It's <laughs> like a bomb explodes within you. It's like you feel bombastic, absolutely. <laughs> I love it. I haven't heard that word in ages. I'm going to use that one again. But uh, look, thank you so much for sharing your, your story with so much energy. I know it's made a big difference to you, both yourself and RJ and, and obviously the other people that you're sharing that with. But thank you so much for getting on. And uh, we really do appreciate you taking the time, mate. Thank you so much. All good. Pleasure. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Cheers, Tom. So, um, hopefully, I did a little bit of a check before. Bree, are you with us? Yeah, sorry. Hey. My, internet, my internet had gone out and I was on a walk because I was trying to quickly get in a walk before this and then the stupid Telstra at the moment in Port Macquarie is just playing up and so I couldn't log on. It was really crazy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't you worry. Um, we're just glad that you're here. and Thanks for taking the time out. I know you're a very busy woman. But um, listen, could you just tell us um, a little bit about yourself and, and tell us some more of your Thrive experience so far? Uh, yeah, so hi everyone. Um, for those of you who don't know me, obviously my name's Bree. Um, I am a registered nurse and I've been working in the operating theatre for 20, 20 years, but 21 years nursing. Um, and I'm a mother to two beautiful children um, and I have a husband and we have a fairly active life um, and try to maintain our fitness and energy and all that sort of stuff, so that's really good. Um, I work in a fairly busy operating theatre department here in Port Macquarie and usually every day I'm up at 5.30 in the morning and try and cram in some a little bit of me time before I get to work at 6.30 and then I'm there who knows how long. So, um, yeah, I am pretty busy, but I like to... Um, I'm, I'm, my husband always complains because he says, you never say no to anything and you're always trying to... If you're, He says to me, if your calendar's not full, you're not happy. And <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, that's, that's a bit about me. So um, my Thrive journey is... I suppose it's one of those things that it just, I don't know, I think I, I'm 44 years old this year, not yet, but soon, and it's one of those things I found where I got to 40, and I wasn't depressed, wasn't upset with that, it was all good, I've never really worried about how old I am just as long as I feel healthy, and just as I crept over to 40, I started to notice I would, I was feeling bloated, and because um, in theatres, I'll tell you a little secret, we have to kind of get down to undies to get into our scrubs, so that's exciting for everyone. Um, and I noticed some of the women who were over their 40s when I was in my 20s and 30s, they all had this, like, menopause of gut. And so for me, I was starting to freak out thinking, oh, my goodness, I'm always bloated and I'm over 40 now and I'm going to get a gut and what I'm going to do about it, that. And I, I like to be fit and healthy. I play basketball. I do boot camp. Um, obviously, at the moment, I'm just walking because I hurt my back a few weeks back. But um, so I'm just trying to keep it a bit tamer. But, yeah, so I'm looking at this thinking, far out, I must be getting old. And... And then I, I found it was just when I actually started, it was July 2017. And um, normally I'm explaining, like people would say, oh, you're so happy, you're so energetic, you're an energizer bunny, um, you don't stop. And that was me. And then I, I got to a point where I started just feeling unhappy. I didn't enjoy going to anything. I would have really dramatic mood swings. And my husband will tell you I have mood swings anyway, but I'm sure that just comes with being married. Um, but yeah, so I, I just found that the couch was my friend. I, you know, I'd go to basketball, but I would do it begrudgingly. I'd go with the kids places begrudgingly. I just 
just was not the happy, joyous me. On the outside, people would think I was still happy, but I just knew inside something wasn't right. And it just happened that one of the girls I used to work with in nursing, um, she had started Thrive. I knew nothing about it. I saw these things on Facebook where people were posting pictures about drinking something and losing weight and having energy, but I really paid no attention. I've never been a quick fix girl. I've never been into that um, situation where you, you know, you drink some shake and you lose weight or and I, I have always been into vitamins, but, you know, you check your pee in the morning and it's really bright yellow or bright orange or whatever you've been having for the day. So I was never really one of those people that looked for the quick fix. But anyway, so back to the story. I, I know I digress. But she, um, so she invited me to this little Facebook information page and I had a quick look and thought, oh, that sounds interesting and, you know, trusted this girl and thought, do you know what? I need something. And it wasn't even that um, I was interested in the product. It was more that just something in me said, oh, let's just give it a go. And so I have no big explanation for it. But I can tell you that I was just coming out of a horrible cold at the time and I was on antibiotics and my drive arrived and it was 10 o'clock in the day because I remember when the delivery guy came to the door. So we must have been on leave just on like a day off or holiday. And um, he came to the door and I ripped it open and said to my husband, this better work. And Seriously, I took it then. I didn't wait for the fasting in the morning business. I thought, no, nah, I'm not waiting till tomorrow. And that, I think that's kind of like me when I go shopping. I'm like, nope, I'm just buying it now. I can't wait. If I've made up my mind, that's it. I'm going at it. And so to me, that was it. It was with Thrive. I was going to make this work. Something had to work. And so I started it. I didn't feel anything. I wasn't that blessed um, day one Thriver. But it was probably about day 10 that I went, oh, my goodness, I... I slept through the night and I was, I was quite surprised and it just dawned on me, actually I'm happier and I'm not yelling at the kids as much and you know, just things were a bit easier and I was still not well from my cold so I can't say it was a miracle cure but I had committed myself to do that eight week experience and so I, I always, anyone that I'm talking to about it who wants to try a little bit of a trial, I do say them, yep, but you know what, you're going to know in eight weeks, you need to give it a go and I wasn't going to sign up and pay that money just for nothing. So yeah, I don't think it's all about um, having to be a day one driver, I think it's about the life that's a journey and bringing your joy back. And, and to me, getting up at five thirty in the morning, I don't really want to be having a full breakfast and then heading straight to work. So the three easy steps of thrive are just fantastic. I, I, I do actually take them religiously. I have them by my bed. I get up. I take those two capsules. I have an enormous drink of water because I know water needs to flush my system. And I didn't say earlier, I'm not going all over the place, but stay with me. Um, the, I have an IBS history, so my family all have irritable bowel syndrome, and for me, gut health was important. And so when I take those two capsules in the morning, I just know that that is starting my day right. Go up, start getting ready, pop my patch on wherever I'm up to on my body, the, the ankle, the shoulder, the back, where, you know, wherever I feel like for the day, wherever it's not going to stick out of my work clothes and um, be a pain. But yeah, so I take that and then I go downstairs and have my lifestyle mixed on an enormous big um, amount of water. So I like to have about 500 mils of water and a bit of um, almond milk just to smooth it down and I drink that down and that way I'm getting my fluids up for the day. And, and that's it. I found my energy energy levels have increased. My brain fog that I was having in the afternoon, 2 o'clock, I'm, I actually manage the operating theatres so for me it's... I, I need my brain to keep working all day, every day, and coming home to give my family the worst of me wasn't a great idea. So this way my brain keeps going. I've got my joy back. My gut's feeling great. I'm sleeping fantastic. And that brain fog and being able to make decisions now, the, the brain fog is gone and my decisions are clearer. So I know that was a bit all over the place, but you know me, sleep. That's how I like to talk. <laughs> there's, there's absolutely it's, it's not about it's, it is about sort of what you say but it's predominantly about the energy and the, and the passion that you talk with is, is, is what I love about you and your story and, and I think it's, it's I think it's really important that you know one of the things that you mentioned there was uh, brain fog um, oh, what do yeah. you mean by that we, there seems to be a yeah. lot of people who they, they're just sort of they're going through their day I don't know fuzzy is that the, is that the right what yeah, is yeah. that can you it's, explain it's what it is yeah, so, look, it's not a nursery term, trust me. Um, yeah. But it's just one of those things where, like, you know how everyone goes, oh, I'm feeling exhausted and I can't make any decisions right now in my head, but please don't ask me another question. I don't want to have to answer you. Um, and that, to me, is my brain feels like I just get muddled up and I can't make a clear decision. And so for me, this is one of the things I didn't say either was I would, I would consistently have 10, you know, I'd be up to 10 cups of tea a day because... My energy levels had dropped and I was relying on that tea. I don't drink coffee because it upsets my gut, but I, I, I was relying on the caffeine in the tea to help get me through the day. And I was thinking about it when you'd asked me to do this. I was thinking, you know what? 
the difference between me then and the me now, a noticeable difference for me, if anyone were to say, I would walk to the soccer field or I would go to, maybe not basketball, but I'd go to the soccer field or I'd take my kids to dance or I'd take them to an activity or I'd go to a meeting um, outside of one of the other things that I do. But I'd go to a meeting and in my hand was a, you know, those thermo mugs and there would always be a cup of tea in it. I would spend yeah. from the moment I got up to whenever I would finish my day with a mug in my hand. It would often go cold and I would drink it cold, but I was continually doing that. You see me now and I'm carrying, always carrying a great big litre bottle of water. But the change is different. I might have a cup of tea when someone offers you when you go around and say, oh, yeah, sure, but I prefer things like peppermint tea or whatever now. But really, it's just water. I cannot get enough water. I love it. And it's, it's that so true. That's nothing to do brain fog, by the way. No, 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 no I know. I know. <laughs> I knew where you're coming from, but I think one of the big things that we've seen, I mean, this is now, I believe it's week 12, there's a common thread that yeah. seems to be running through that most people seem to be waking up where they need that kick to the system, and that kick to the system is normally yeah. caffeine in some form, mm. and, and then that caffeine spikes and then drops, and then you're looking for your next yeah. one. Uh, I think the record so far is that one person who was drinking 25 cups of coffee a day, yeah. um, and that was because of the height and then the drop. Yeah, and those patches, the thing about wearing them is that consistently, like your skin is the biggest organ of your body. And so popping that patch on there, it's just, I would say, easing, beautifully easing into your body because it's just trickle feeding into your body all day. So it works on the same principle as morphine patches, um, nicotine patches, and that's why obviously, like, as the previous guy said, you know, people do say to you, oh, are you giving up smoking? Because that's what people recognise. But it's that patch that is giving you the continuous flow into your body, and that's what helps get you past that little brain drain or the energy drain and gets you going through the day, and it's great. Mm-hmm. Like at 5.30 in the morning, I wake up. I wake up before my alarm because... I don't even have to set it. I set it just in case. Cause you don't want to do that day when you do sleep. But um, I wake up right before my alarm. And it's, it's, I do also still go up and go, oh, my goodness, I have to get up today. Come on, get out. But, you know, that's life. But I, I wake up before it and I'm ready to go. So, brain is that's like it. It's it's so good and thank you so much for uh, for joining us this evening. And again, I know I know this is uh, potentially some family time for you, but it's always great to to hear everybody's stories and yeah, and you know it, it, week twelve. Week 12 in, everybody seems to be getting to the end result. Um, they do it in their own good and unique time. Some people are the lucky ones where they get this within their first day, their, their first three days. As Bree mentioned there before, you know, you're looking at, you know, you're looking at sort of 10 days, 12 days. And there's a reason why this is an eight-week experience. I mean, this builds up slowly in your body for a lot of people. If you do the right thing and it's there, it's ready. But everybody seems to get to the end goal, the same end goal. We are all so different. And that is one thing that I've learned through this whole process. So, so thank big big thank you to Mel to Tom and to Bree thank you so much for your time and for sharing your stories guys I did promise you a couple of very small stats and and I also mentioned a quote just before if you're going to put your name to a company make sure the product is a better salesperson than you this is what this is this is this product just works it just flat out works and there is a reason that it's you know that that's already got 10 million customers and just approaching two billion dollars worth of sales for a business that's you know just six years old for a product that's only been out there for a short period of time why because of the stories that you've just heard this evening so look please i urge you it costs you zero it costs you nothing to at least open your ears and your eyes to listen and if any of the messages that have come across this evening have really just resonated with you and you feel as though okay i just want to find out a little bit more reach out and speak to somebody who ever put you onto this call and reach out and just ask for some information ask for a ask for a three-day sample ask to speak to them about it so that you can do that taste test and just try this product and see how simple and why we're already up to two nearly two billion dollars worth of sales in such a short space of time listen thank you so much thank you so much for um for spending some time with us this evening this is on the same time same place same number Three different people. This is on every single week. We are now on week 12, and we are really compiling a great bunch of stories that have started to come from people just like you and me. So with that in mind, have an amazing rest of your evening. Thank you so much, and this call is officially over.